Okay, so this um, is a model of the celestial sphere, and it's really hard to, to get an idea of what's going on without seeing it. And I can't even tell you if this is showing up the camera because I covered up the video because I can't stand to see myself, just to let you know. So the, the goal of the celestial sphere is to somehow picture the sky. Um, and in this model, it represents all the stars as being on this shell surrounding the Earth. Now, clearly, that's not the way it really is. Um, these stars are not all the same distance from the Earth, and they're not this close. But, since they're so far away, and, and their motion in the sky is due to the Earth's rotation, and, and I, could, I could rotate the Earth like this, there's a little knob in there, I can rotate it, then it's a great way for us to model what's going to happen, and it, and it can tell us a lot of stuff um, about the motion of the sky. So, imagine we're in Louisiana, that's, that's where I live, so I'm going to turn this so that, that, that North America's right there, and I'm going to put it like this, so that if I was standing on this, this would be straight up, and, and this is what I would see at night, these stars right here. One thing you'll notice is that if you, if you live in Louisiana, you can't see everything. Okay, stars over here, I will never see those because if you look, imagine a, a flat plane of the, of the horizon right around here, I can't see anything below this line, essentially. Okay, um, also notice what happens during the night. I'm going to hold the earth still and rotate this. Okay, let's see, wait, east to west, that's right. Okay, and so this point up here, if you were looking there, like that, those stars would just rotate around like that, and that's exactly what you see. You you see a point, and this is the the north where the north star is, or the north celestial pole that everything rotates about. If you were at the north pole, it would look like this, and all there would be uh, a star straight ahead, above straight above you that doesn't move, and everything rotates like that. You'd see a star right by the horizon, and it would just rotate all around. During the day, you couldn't see it because it's too bright. Um, the other nice thing about this model is it it also has this um, representing the uh, the motion of the sun, and you can see that it's not on the same axis of rotation as the Earth. That's because the Earth, as it goes around the sun, its axis of rotation is tilted. So. You'll see here, it's kind of hard to see this little other dotted line, this um, it's a little marked line. This tells you the path of the sun on the celestial sphere if you mapped it on there. And this is called the ecliptic, and it's tilted 23 degrees, just like the Earth is tilted, its axis. Um, so if you look at during the summer, this is during the summer, the sun's... Uh, on the north, on the north side of the celestial sphere, and to the the uh, Earth, the northern hemisphere gets a lot more sun and it's warmer. And in the winter, for the northern hemisphere, it's down here. Okay, um, so you can you can see that, um, and it can go. You can put it at different dates. And so a given day, let's say, let's put it today, which is June third. I'm gonna put this on June third. My computer is getting angry because I'm doing a lot of things. Okay, June 3rd is right. Looks like I go around. June. June 3rd, right here. Okay. So there's June 3rd. And I'm going to put it back on uh, Hammond, Louisiana. Right there. And one, you'll notice that the sun is not straight overhead. It's not. Okay, and during the day, it would start like this, the sun would rise, it would go across, it doesn't go straight overhead, you see, it comes back down, and then it sets, this is setting because now it's below the horizon, and now here are all the stars that we can see, okay, and they rotate through all, through the whole night, and then the sun rises again the next day, and the sun's in a slightly different location. You'll notice that these are up during the day and you can't see them, but during the other half of the year, the sun's over here and you can see these stars, but you can't see these stars. 
So that's the celestial sphere. I'll show you some more pictures in my lecture, but it's good to see the actual model of it. Um, this also has, you probably can't see it, but the, the Milky Way, which no one ever sees anymore because of light pollution, but that's enough for now.